Your microphone is like standing up. <laughs> Good evening, everybody, and welcome. We're virtual Stitcher each week. Okay, we're gonna start with um, homework, school magical stitches. Is that a yes? That's a yes. Posted before midnight on Sunday, there will be a tiny decisions wheel that will pick one of five, five numbers for five whips. Um, and that's the one, and they're gonna do it for each house. And that's the one that house is going to work on. So um, we really just need to kind of decide which five we're gonna give them to choose from. Now we have to make sure it has a minimum of 500 stitches in it because you can't split it. You've got to have all 500s in one whip. And um, something that you're ready to work on, even if it's a new start, you have to be ready to work on it at a moment's notice. So any ideas, ladies? Well, um, I've got a few I think I really want to work on this week. Um, but... I just finished one today, so that's sort of changing my thinking. And one of mine is for a year long. Um, maybe my gingerbread house. I don't know. Can So can I share my screen or can you share my screen? How does that work? You should be able to. There should be a button at the bottom that says share. Hmm. Right in the middle. I don't know if I make it full screen, maybe. Oh, yeah, there we go. Share. Uh, Let's try this one. So if I show you what I've got, how's that? Can you sort of see my whips over here? Ah, good. All right. So I'm thinking maybe this one, this um, where my heart blooms, from Blackbird Designs, because there's heaps to do on that, and I'm and I'm wanting to work on that for another another challenge group as well. Oops, what did I do there? Also that that. Do you still have bolt stitching in the house? Well, I don't know what I'm doing now. <laughs> I don't know how to how to get it back now. Hold on, that's a ah. Sorry, do I still have what? Um, a lot of stitching on that house. I mean, like bolt color could mean um, your stitches go really fast. Yes, so bolt color could be really good. Um. Kind of work out why what went wrong with my screen. So my gingerbread house would be a good one to do because there's lots to do on that. I don't know. I've totally killed my my screen share for you. <laughs> oh no, I think I've got it now. Hold on. Ugh. It's always a learning curve. Yeah. Sorry. Well, I don't know what I hit, and then suddenly it went spastic. It's a thing. We're getting technologically better every single time. We are. Okay. So if I scroll down. Um, definitely not my hate. I don't want to work on that for no, 500 this please. week because they're going to pick which one. I won't know which one it is. Yeah, so my gingerbread Christmas here would be a good second one. Mm -hmm. um, maybe Alice, but I want, yeah, maybe Alice. Um, I could do my humans after all. I'm a long way behind on that, although that's not so much blocky colours. That's um, and I, not too bad either. Yes, yeah, summer, summer's not bad either. Um, I don't know. I mean, I've got a few choices. Um, maybe also these two as well, the, the do re mi. Have you started that one? me, and I've just got all that. I've only got this bit to go here. Oh, okay. Um, so that would get a sectional finish potentially with 500 stitches. I don't want to do the Lizzie Cates. They're too small. I don't have a lot of things on there. Um, Are you I have ready a... to start something new? No, I'm not starting something new. I'm still, <laughs> I'm still working my way through all my... Um, All my um, good things that I want to do first. Oh, my love story cell. I could finish that because that's really close to finishing. And I think there'd does be 500. Have 500. Yeah, I reckon it does. So that would be a good one to do because that would get me a finish. Right. 
Because the other thing is, if you want to work on four, put 200 stitches on each of the other four, then there's a bunch of bonus points. So, yeah, well, we know what I'm like for that. I'll, I'll take the bonus option. So, I had to do 200 stitches on four other ones. I don't know. What, what do you reckon, Jen? Um, did you already do your painted orphans for the month? I've done it recently, so yeah, it would be a good one because I could definitely get 500 with a frame. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've got lots of decisions to think about. What are you going to do, Jen? Um, well, I've been working on Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow, so I can keep going on that because I'm only on the first block and it's taken me a year. So there's plenty, plenty, plenty to um, keep going on with that. Um, I really itching, itching, itching to get back to Lady Justice. I have her well. right here. She's been like sitting here laughing at me like, why won't you stitch me? Um, she goes this way, yeah. Like itching to get back to her. And I just need an excuse. Oh, yeah, well, he, I haven't had time, you know, with my work schedule. So any homework that she fit, I haven't been able to do recently. So this is finally a homework she fit into, you know, she could fit. So I would like to work more on her. Um, my um, welcome to Pumpkinville has been sitting here laughing at me. Because I'm still on January. Oh, you need to do that one. Definitely. So I think this will be on the list. And then um, I had worked on um, two of my hades recently. So I'm thinking about including them. Because, you know, that's not too difficult to put stitches into. Are you in mm -hmm. color or confetti? That I mean, that really makes a difference. One of them is not, I mean, neither one of them is too bad for the confetti. Um, Mini Alice in Snow White. I mean, there's plenty of black stitching, like a lot of black still, but I'm working on um, filling in some of the gaps on it and then more black. And then the other one is Farewell to Anger, which is like blues. Okay. I'm just up in the top left. Like I'm still, I think, in the first column. I think some of my choices, though, might be determined by what I have to do for my other homework groups. So I might just sit on those ones to make my final mind up till we see what we have to do for them. What are you thinking, Sammy, for yours? Okay. okay um, let me go ahead and share my, you know I have this, maybe. Can you see? I don't know what you can see. What can you see? Yeah, everything. Okay. So um, I'm, I was trying to decide, but I'm trying to use things I haven't touched in a while, but also something I know I'm going to enjoy stitching um, no matter which one they choose. So one of the ones I thought about was this uh, welcome. I call it welcome to. Turns out it's called a warm welcome, just so you know. Um, yeah. I need it for a couple of this past week's homework with Cheryl, cause you get two weeks. So I'm still working on those. It'll work for a couple of those and a lot of bulk stitching in here. So it could go fairly fast. That's um, what you want. Plus it's one of my big um, year of whip goals because this one's actually two years old. It's one of my older whips. So getting 500 done on it would be really good. Um, a couple that I started either in mania or towards, or, or that first 24 hours of cross stitch weekend when I started more things, I haven't been back to a lot of those. So, um, let's see, like this, uh, fall pumpkin, I thought would be a lot of fun to stitch on. And, oh, my mirror at this thing. <laughs> 
would be good. Um, I tried to I tried to focus on like bulk color. This one stitches up really fast, so I think it'll be on my list. Um, especially after seeing uh, she Shelia from the Shun Sunshine Stitchers, she finished it, and now I'm like, ah, I need to get to that. Uh, that's what three. Oh, this I solemnly swear I'm up to no good because I mean it's it's a Harry Potter group. I need to work on my Harry Potter stuff. Yep, yeah, cool. And then that's four. Hmm. Oh, 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 Miss Ladybug. I thought she could use. Um, she needs so a love. She is so cute. So, yeah, because like, see over here, she hasn't been worked on since the first of June. Uh, solemnly swear since the 25th of May. So that's part of where I was going with my choices. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. What about Shell's group? All right. Let me pull that one up. I accidentally closed <laughs> my Facebook. So this I week, got, yeah. this week we are camping, right? Yep. I didn't save it. Do you have it saved? I do. So 100 stitches on something you saw along a hike. So that could be anything that has a tree or an animal or a, Ooh, a I car. Got an owl. You could use Miss Ladybug, right? You see ladybugs and, on a hike. That's true. You could even just do. use anything with a person in it because you see a person. I'm going to go back to the truck. You Oh, you need to go back show us your page again so we can help you pick. I got a snake, a spider, bats, and a skeleton in the block I'm Yeah. Stitching. Um, all right. Well, the other things, just while you're thinking, mm -hmm. um, you have to actually stitch on a Halloween piece and post your silliest Halloween joke. So you need to make sure one of the pieces you're doing is a Halloween piece. You can check okay. that one off. So, yeah, I might need to find a Halloween piece because I don't tend to have many. I've only got one, really, that would do. We, um, we're only doing 100 stitches again this week, though, right? Yeah, it's 100 stitches on basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things. So you've got something you saw along a hike. You've got a stitch on a piece with something in a triangle shape. Um, then you've got to do um, things that are the colours of, like, making s'mores. So graham crackers, which I had to find out what colour a graham cracker is because I wouldn't have a clue, um, marsh marshmallow coloured and chocolate coloured. And if you stitch all three, um, you get a bonus, so that's pretty cool. Um, and you've got to do something with an insect, Something with an insect. Boo. Yeah, Miss Ladybug seems to come through. Does she could be Halloween too. Does a spider yeah, come be wearing a costume? A yes. spider's an insect, yeah. Well, I actually um I got a head start today because I I needed to. So can I show you what I've already thought of? You get yes. first first people who get to see my new finish. How exciting is that? Just trying to work out what I can hold it up against. Oh, there we go. All right, I finished Swan Lake by um, Blackbird Designs. Mm -hmm. And you can't tell me that's not a triangle up there, that big letter A. And all around here is Graham Cracker Floss. Yeah, it is. So, it's so I, I'd done the rest of it, unfortunately. Oh, and my chocolate. Sorry, I did the chocolate around the house. Um, your swans are kind of like a marshmallow. Yeah, but I, did, I didn't have enough stitches to be able to um, claim them. I had to stitch on the swans and I'd already done them. Oh, you so have to stitch in that colour? You have to actually stitch in the colour for those ones. Okay. So you can't just stitch on anything that has the colour. So you have to stitch on white, brown and tan and 100 stitches in each colour. Okay. So I got started on those today. Do you have to stitch the triangle shape or just something with a triangle? No, it's shape? on a piece with a triangle. Just on the piece. Oh, okay. So I'm not sure which ones are mine. Any of the ones I said for this week are going to fit in for me for something I saw along the hike. 
I'm not going to see a gingerbread house. I suppose I could put the trees out of when my heart blooms or the building out of when my heart blooms. Actually, Hansel and Gretel found a gingerbread house on their hike. <laughs> yes, but I don't need to be that extreme, but that's true. I could do that. I'm just saying. Uh, have, well, can I just say stitch on a piece of something I made for breakfast? I'm bound to make gingerbread for, Christ- for breakfast, aren't I? Yeah. Okay. So, Some, I, I have to go through them one by one. We're jumping around too much for me. <laughs> uh, that's all <laughs> We're going to do Miss Ladybug. Yep. Um, Triangle. Because I also don't want to use more than two, right? Because it, if it's not the one they pick, I'll only be putting 200 stitches. True. So, so you only want to use that one and the insect. Okay. Yep. I posted that one twice. What number is that? Sorry? Which number is that? What do you mean, which number? The insect one. one oh, two, okay. Three. One, two, three, four, four. Okay. But number three has three parts. Right. Okay. Um, what was number two? Triangle. Number two is a triangle. Um. Let me show you this. Let's see. Can you see? Or am I sharing it? There we go. Hold on. Hold on, Jen. I'll come back to you. Sorry. I'm so sorry. No, that's fine. I was holding up my thing because um, there's a couple triangles. The tops of houses. Look at this. I call that a triangle. What are we looking at? The hanger shapes. The hangers? Yes. Oh. Okay. So you, oh, that makes sense. Yes, that's a triangle. The laundry. Also, the ironing boards, like the legs, make a triangle. Yep. What was yours, Jim? Um, here, these like houses and the wishing wall. Yes. Those are triangles. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're triangles. So you can use that. So, Sammy, with um your triangle, with your laundry. What colours do you still need to stitch on it? Can you cover marshmallow, graham cracker, or chocolate in that one? Um, I think I would actually have to pull it out to answer that one because I don't know what the colours are on it. I might be able to get chocolate. Mm, you'll be right, Jen, on that. Um, and it's 100 each, right? Yes. If this one gets picked, I could do marshmallow. Because of the ghost. Um, and it's not really graham cracker. There's a bunch I could do with this one, but I need to figure out the other ones. Oh. So, well, yeah, Sammy. Sorry. I was going to say graham cracker, marshmallow, and chocolate are your next ones. Um, one of the other things outside of homework is I'm trying to get my yearly done. And the one I'm working on right now is happiness. This is the Dumbledore quote. And mm-hmm. if I use this color here, that's pretty long dimension, but I've worked on that one recently. So I'd kind of like to pick something else. Let's see. Um, do you think that pumpkin would be home? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here we go. This is Halloween. I don't know what is. Oh, yes. I thought you meant the other one, and I was just laughing to myself. (laughs) That one is. Okay. Hey, would you make candy corn for breakfast? Probably not. (laughs) (laughs) But on Halloween, you can eat candy for breakfast, and it's acceptable. Yeah. Uh, food. I'm never even good at the food one. I mean, it's got food on it, so. That reminds me, we have that cantaloupe in there. So that shot I cut that off when I got here. I, you did, and I forgot about it. Um, well, I'm not, I don't have any stitches on that. Ooh. 
Yeah, I'm not so sure. What about you, Jen? You got some breakfast over there? Breakfast? Um, I think there's a bakery um, in Welcome to Pumpkinville. There is. There is a bakery in Pumpkinville. So I'm just going to go with that. You can get breakfast things from a bakery. All right. I need to share with you guys again because I need help. Okay. Um, so for breakfast, let's see. I don't really have, I don't have food. Wait, go to your Lizzie Kate Smalls. Do they have food on them? No, oh, I've got some pumpkin. pumpkin. Berries. Berries. But I've already done that one. Berries. I could do berries. Okay. And watermelon. Yes, watermelon. All right. Well, maybe I am doing one of the Lizzie Kate's. Berries. Just berries or... stitches, so. Yeah, berries would be good because I've done. I started this one. I haven't done much in the summer. Is that a bee scap? A what? A bee scap. Uh, is that a beehive? Yeah. Is that what you're asking me? Yeah. Yes, it is a beehive. You get honey from there, and honey. Okay, well that's good. I could finish that one because I've started that one. Hmm. Sounds good. And yeah, as I said, I think I can find something on this one for walking down the road. And you can use the autumn one for Halloween. Yeah, but I've already done them. No, go to the autumn one, though. There's one with, like, pumpkins. I've done it. Wait, it's let me see. Party. I know you I've said it. the one that said Halloween. I've stitched two of the autumn ones, the two that look like they're halloween -y. The only one I haven't stitched now is the one that says autumn. Does it have any pumpkin on it? <laughs> <laughs> you guys and your pumpkins. We like pumpkins. Okay. And, um, I tend to be a mean mom, but I still like my coffee with breakfast. Yep, that works. <laughs> have some cookies at breakfast too. But I never allow treats instead of a real meal. <laughs> well, I've broken that rule. Except when the kids are still asleep and then... Uh, Anything goes. I have fed my niece ice cream for dinner. It's because I'm not the mother. I Fair get enough. to do that. You're the favorite aunt. Oh, I know it. Yeah. So that's why I'm not sure exactly which five to do for magical stitches because you may as well double dip. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. But but did we like, get all yours done? I'm so think, screwed because I think if you go through your shirls and get them like officially picked out and then maybe from there pick your mm -hmm. homework. Pick the five, yeah. Or at least if any if not all five, then at least a few and then you can add in things you just want to work on. You um, just can't stitch if it's not for any homework. It's it's gotta count for something. Right. Well, um, see, I'm also, I'm also doing a couple of semi same ones still this month. I'm going to be doing a, one next month too. I'm, I'm working on this or that this month, which is um, I picked when the when my heart blooms one. So the more stitching I can do on that this week, the better before the month ends. Yeah. What are you laughing at, cats again? No, my, my husband and the dog are outside and he's got this flashlight that does like a strobe so I can see my dog in the strobe light. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, because that's the other thing is the end of this week is going to start running into next month. Mm -hmm. and, um, I know the semi-sane has dodgeball coming next month and that's something I'm participating in. Mm -hmm. um, so... That needs to be considered, I guess, for some of this stuff eventually. But um, they had School Magical Stitches has already released extra credit, which is from, oh man, I can't see, September and October. And yeah. so we already have that. We can discuss it real quick. Well, we've got two months to do them, and there's. Well, there's 10, 10 500 stitch tasks plus watch the movie. Yes. Yes. Okay. So the first one we have is, and, and remember these, 
well, one, our homework will be done before these can even get started. Yeah. And two, we wouldn't be able to double dip our homework with these. So yeah. matching them up would not necessarily be a thing we need to do. Okay. The first one is 500 stitches on something royal. Could I do my 12 days of Christmas? Because there's lords are leaping. Lords, lords are royal. dancing. They're royal, aren't they? Got any ideas there, Jen? Ooh, Gypsy Queen. <laughs> She's <Yes>. a queen. <laughs> Sammy? I have to get back to her. I've been meaning to for a while. Well, Lady of the Flag has a crown. That's part mm -hmm. of royal. Mm -hmm. She's about as close to British royal, um, British American royalty as you can get. Right, yeah. All right. Scroll through there, okay. Uh, number two is on a, a series that has eight designs. Eight designs, okay. Dolls count. Dolls what? count. Dolls ba count. Mm hmm So like any of the monthly ones, they all count. Oh, Sal's count. I heard vowels. Vowels. <laughs> Sal's count. Oh, well, that's easy then. I can just work on any old cell. Yeah, one of your, you could use one of your, one of yours. But if not, I do have my um, farmhouse Christmas series. So there's nine. That's a good one. Um, and I'm just thinking if my Do Re Mi for my alphabet sampler, there's like about 15 of them. And Do Re Mi Fa So La Ti Do. No, there's only four of them. Okay. Um, I guess I could work on, you know, the one sitting next to me looking at me. Pumpkinville. Pumpkinville. <laughs> Think so. What about you, Sammy? Um, I have two choices here. Well, I might have more, but off the top of my head, I have two choices. One is the Guardians of Notre Dame because it was a monthly series mm -hmm. that Lord knows I need to get done. Um, but also Forever and Ever because there are 12 patterns in the Songbird collection. So... I, I wrote down both and we'll figure out which one I feel like doing at the time. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. We don't have to decide on these yet, but it's good to have a, a thought. Right. Oh, my other thought. Mm -hmm. The Drawloween, Sal. Uh -huh. The Drawloween, Sal? Never it's heard of that one. From, I'll tell you who it's from. Um, where's the email? Because I can't think what the group is called. Does ha yeah. How many? Does Hawthorne no, that's right. What? Stitchonomy? Hadn't heard of it. The designer's name is Alyssa. Um, it's a free sow. It's a Halloween sow. She does one every year. Cool. That one could double dip then. You could use Cheryl's Halloween. No. Yeah. You just have to wait till after the first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do it in Cheryl's second week of the homework. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can't. Sure, you um on the Facebook group, you can see a picture. Okay, like what the frame looks like, or on the website, I think you can see a picture of the like last year's. Mm -hmm. But like it releases, I think a little part of it each day. Oh wow, each day. day! Like last year's did I think? I can show, look it up. Okay, next is stitch on a designer that starts with the with the words with a letter in the word snake. Snape. Okay, so so if it's the actual designer's name like um, Joan Elliot, you can use J for Joan or E for Elliot. But if you're oh. using the design company like um, Frosted Pumpkin, you can only use F. So I can use S for Ship's Manor. And do my painted orphan cell. There you go. Done. Next. <laughs> um, I can do my plum tree sandwich. Yeah, from plum tree. That's P. Mm. Good. Oh, I could do my frosted pumpkin. Welcome to Pumpkinville. Because no, 
Yes, I can. Because the designers' names are Amanda and Ashley. That's fine then. You can. Um, this is because the their names are Amanda and Ashley. Yes. <laughs> this is the actual um, frame stitched for the Drawloween sale. Oh, wow. And then every day in October, they'll release a little design to go in each box. Oh, cool. Three things are good to find. Mm -hmm. Another thing on my plate. <laughs> This is okay. kind of like a picture of last year's. Um, oh yeah, okay. It's like really cute little designs. Okay, this one's the fun one. This is the one that's causing all the ruckus. <laughs> Are you ready? Get on something that looks like a pygmy puff. Yeah, I got nothing. Okay. Um. Does a pumpkin count? It's round. Okay, for those of y'all out there that don't know what a pygmy puff is, I'm trying to pull one up. You are being especially annoying tonight. <laughs> so is my internet. Yeah, it is being a bit funny. Okay, can you see the pigment puffs? No, I see no. A spread your spreadsheet. To share things a little particular about what I'm, there it goes. It's still your whip tracker. No. There we I mean, go. Oh. Right, so a big fluff ball thing. Yes. Can we stitch it unpuffed? I, I think so. Oh, so it's like a naked one. It's got no hair. It looks like a little pink rat. <laughs> yeah. That may not help me any bit at all, but I'm just, I'm just asking. Yeah. Um, I know my, my thought was I have the hedgehog from Brooks Books. Very similar. You know, it's got pokey hair and it's got a cute little face. Can I'm really I... Can I use that? I don't know. Especially looks like a little puff ball to me, but. It looks like a little puff ball. Of, does it have to be 500 stitches just on the puff? I think it just no, has to be. No, it just has to be in the oh, on the thing. Um, let's look at these autumn ones. That's the flower. What about the top of a topiary tree? <laughs> hey. Maybe. I mean, we're not, we're not able to say yay or nay. I'm just thinking, what do I have? Oh, or could I get away with little chicky? Maybe the chicky or even those little balls of yarn on the Yarn balls. Yeah, except that they're probably Easter eggs, but. <laughs> oh, they are round things. Yes. There's a little pygmy's hiding in them. You don't know which one the pygmy is. I'm looking at my options. Did you, did you eat my pen? Where'd it go? This is the one I'm going to have to think on because I honestly, I don't know. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to have to hope for the best because I definitely don't have anything that is remotely actually a pig and puff. This might end up having to be something that's a new start. But I don't even have anything that's a new start that's a it's pig and puff. It's just such a pink fluffy blob. Oh, it's I don't want to do that. It says, looks like a pig and puff. So I think a brightly oh. colored thing round could perfectly consider looking like. Yep. Brightly colored pink and round. Well, because like she has those little eggs or yarn. The balls. eggs with the chicken. Oh, yeah. Okay. I really. Mm, think I'm just having a look on my. Um, oh. I'm having a look on my welcome. There might be something unwelcome to Pumpkinville that looks like it. 
Well, I'm actually looking on my Christmas one. I'm looking at them all just now. You can't see them, but... Um... Yeah, pumpkin so bill might do. When we were brainstorming, I didn't write anything down, and now I'm trying to... Well, I mean, I wrote them down, but I didn't write down what they were for. So I'm trying to remember and go back and do it. Um, so this time I have a notebook. Uh -huh. Yes, that's true. Yeah, I don't I guess know. I could watch this video back. <laughs> you could, but then you're going to watch us talking. And unlike my daughter who seems to like watching me. Hmm, okay. Look well, that's one we'll have to think about. Well, it's not showing up good. What are we looking at? Thing. I don't know. Look at this block. The thing that looks like a star. Or like the little balloon looking things. Yeah. The balloon looking I'm things more look like picking maps. Yeah. You could try that one. I might try that. I'm looking to see like all the things that have been released. The, all the blocks. Mm hmm All right. What's next? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Stitch on something related to a spider in memory of Aragog. <sighs> well, there's plenty of spiders in. Oh, easy. Hawk Run in Halloween. Hawk Run Hollow. Yeah, but if you're not a Halloween person, like I'm not a Halloween person, I think I would have to do this one, which is my herb garden, because there's bound to be spiders living in my herb garden. That is yeah. true. That's an idea. Or if not my herb garden, I could potentially keep working on my Mill Hill hen house. Now I'm looking right. at like my pictures of what was on my whip list. The I mean, obviously Halloween things would fit when they've got a spider web. Right. Let me see. Does this one have a spider or spider web? I can't. Oh, yes, I see a spider whip. Okay, I can always pull out Haunted Mansion if nothing else. Mm -hmm. I could even work on Mooka for that one because, like, all her vines and stuff that's all around her, there could definitely be like spiders hiding in those. Yeah, she looks like spider webby. Sorry, I don't know why I'm yawning. I'm the one who's not so late. You guys are in the early wee hours. I know. I know what <laughs> All right, what have we got next, Sammy? And next we have stitch on something related to love, red or pink for Harry and Ginny. Let me see if I got any pink stitches around. Ooh, that's gorgeous. That could work. Even though all I've yeah. done is one line of border stitches. Now, if you stitch on red or pink, it has to be on the colors. Yeah, but isn't that like Juliet leaning over the, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's related to love, Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. Yep. They died for each other. Okay, and second thought, the flowers on here remind you of a pygmy puff. <laughs> well, that's yeah. true, they do. Well, well maybe, I, maybe I should not do my love story sale this month and I should wait till first of September and do it for extra credit for that because the love story Sal is 500 stitches of them having died after they lived a happy life together. True. Mm -hmm. Do I have anything else that's love story though? Let me have a look. I'm going to share to see. It's the only way I can look. <laughs> Sorry? I have um... go ahead. Yeah, I'm just looking to see if there's anything else. Well, I could do 12 days of Christmas because they're giving prezzies yeah. to the loved one. That would work. Okay. Especially those golden rings. Yeah, might do that. Okay, yeah. what do you got? You could even do um, the Singer Sampler because she's running towards her loved one. Yeah, I suppose. Because why okay. else would you run a long, long way? <laughs> True. True. So, I just saw a big pink thing there, Sammy. Yeah, I have my fox glove, and I'm pretty sure she has more than 500 stitches left. And I'm down here in this part of the screen. Yeah. So 
So you could do her skirt. And it'd be pink. That, but the thing is, <laughs> is she is um, exhausting. 500 stitches will take me a while. Okay. Option. Also, Forever and Ever talks about love. I mean, it says it right there. Love. Oh. Uh, and uh, I also have Wedding Row, which says, of my love, be sure. So I've got three to consider hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's love done. What's next? Um... Stitch a potion, beaker, or cauldron on it. Or stitch on a piece with that on it. <laughs> You're set, Jen. You're right. Jen's I'm good. good. <laughs> a um, potion, beaker, or cauldron. For you non-Halloween people, you're going to have to get creative. Well, a potion, though... Only needs to be a jar of liquid or some, or a, like a, a perfume a bottle or something. Yeah, could be a cocktail. A mocktail. Yeah, That's a, a mocktail, a cocktail. Oh, I could do this for love also. Yeah, definitely, oh. definitely could do that. I'm not doing it in red. I'm doing it in um a mose sale. That's like variegated pinks. Um, yeah, I'm, I may have to do a Halloween-y one, but it needs to have a cauldron in it. That, that's really particular. Do you have anything with a vase in it? <sighs> Let me look at my they, photos on my phone. They have similar shape. <laughs> yeah. Um, I or like so. a beaker. Or like a oh. straight glass you can't identify. No, I don't do food. Mm. Definitely got challenging homework this time. Yes. <sighs> Look at my cross-stitch folder. I can't even think. Oh. Maybe, maybe my humans after all. Yeah, you've got scientists on there. There's scientists on there. I just have to have a look and see what the scientists are holding. Because nothing else is jumping out at me. I have watering cans. It might be the closest I get. I'm just saying they could be measuring out like a beaker. Yeah. What's the wrong thing? All right, let's let you ruminate on that one. <laughs> the next one is stitch on one of the Horcruxes. Explain which one. Um, I need help All with right. that. I don't know what that means. Okay, right, I'm hold on. Uh, uh, I was going to say, you want me to give up? Okay. All right. Well, what, well, one is book. It's the diary of Tom Riddle. Okay. So that's one, one of the. One of them I know is like a crown. The diadem. Yes. Right? The diadem. There's a um, a locket, a necklace, mm -hmm. a cup. Yep, the cup. That doesn't help me. <laughs> and a person, Harry Potter. Oh well, that's easy then. You only need to stitch on yeah. Harry Potter. And the snake. And a ring. Oh, a snake! I have a snake on my piece. And the I ring. Have the snakes on my piece. Well, my twelve days of Christmas, I think, is winning at the moment. Mm. 
So first stitch on something related to the Horcrux. Does that mean you have to stitch on the actual Horcrux? No, it says stitch on something related to it. Um, I mean, you would want something that represents a Horcrux in your design. It does yeah, not have okay. to be stitched on. Um, but yeah, so like um, Lady of the Flag has a crown. Oh. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to pick something I haven't already picked though. Ooh, what about this one? What all did we say? <laughs> crown, snake, ring. First one. Person. Block it. Okay. I think I'll write this one down. It's good to taking notes so you remember what you're going to work on. Yeah. Or at least to narrow my options a little bit. Then I can be like, which one haven't I worked on in a while? Mm. So I gotta go with snakes. So I gotta do Halloween. Okay. Right. But there's nothing wrong with you doing Halloween and Hawk Run Hollow if it can fit everything, Jen. No, I know. Yeah. I just, you know, you get tired of the same project all the time. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm trying to kind of pick a different one for each of these. Versus trying to put a thousand stitches in on. Yeah, true. Well, a thousand, on but... the Little Mermaid, you know, like there's different things I can do. Oh, and then there. Never mind. Okay, next one. Um, stitch on a design that starts with either H, B, or P for Half Blood Prince. The design has to start with it. Oh, the design <laughs> has to? Mm -hmm. Humans, after all, sell. There you go. HBP. Hmm. Okay, I've got several. Yeah. Which one hasn't been worked on in the longest? Hufflepuff Crest. There you go. Well, I've got the lead in Santa. I've got, but I don't think it has 500 stitches in it. Less the life. Happy, that's not going to happen. Well, uh, <laughs> I've got happy everything. Happy everything? Mm hmm. Or Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow. Yes, true. I could also do hands to work yeah. sampler, which is getting close to being finished. I have in my fact, mandala, but I don't think it has enough stitches left in it. Might. So lots of options for that one, hey Sam? Yeah, but I think also, you'll be narrowing it down to what hasn't been worked on in a while and maybe even what is like on my year of whips. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the thing, though, as well. By the time we get to doing the, this is a two-month plan, so it could chop and change a bit depending on what other homeworks and stuff we've got. And like when Cheryl releases her monthlies, we, I always try and double dip them, so that might sort of spell it out for me one way or another. Oh, I also have balloon glow. This one. Ooh. Five but it's just mentioned gold kit. So I know I'm going to be using it for another extra credit, mm -hmm. which you haven't mentioned yet. I know it's coming up. It must be the next one then. There's only one left. Oh, there's only one left? Okay. Stitch 500 Not half stitches or back stitches for the HBP. Um, this equals 250 whole stitches. This one. You got a lot of back stitching on that one? It's a lot of half stitching. It's a dimension fold kit. There's like tons of half stitches. It'll either be this or it'll be my block work um, that we're working on. Our block work style that needs some attention. So 
I'm just wondering if it's half stitches or back stitches, mm -hmm. do you think that that would count if I was to do like my, um, let me get it up to show you. It's easier Specialty than stitches do not count. Sorry? Specialty stitches don't count. Really? Yeah. That was asked. Well, that's silly because I was going to ask you specifically about, where is it? It's hiding from me. Maybe it's not on this picture. Uh, oh, there it is. I found it. Yeah, there. Because this one, it's all like, they're all like back stitches to do those. Oh, that's what you call it. And each one's like five. I can't think of the stitch. Yeah, but it's not like it's not like a specialty stitch. Like that would be a specialty stitch. Mm -hmm. But they are back stitches. That's back stitches. That's the basket weave one. Um, uh, basket weaves up here, and this one. This one is just what are those called? Cluster blocks. No, it's not even cluster blocks. It seriously is just yeah. It's just straight stitches. Anyway, it's worth a I shot. don't know. Sorry? I, I said it's worth a shot. Well, I mean, they, they combine to make, they combine to make specialty stitches, but they seriously are just straight stitches that then have another thread drawn through them. Oh, um, so I don't know because of that, because of that one thread that goes through them, they might say no. Well, I don't have to put that one thread through them yet. There's nine. So there's a hundred just in that section, but yeah, I may not have enough to do it. That's the problem. I'm sure I can find something to backstitch. And of course the last one is to watch the movie. Yeah, well, there you go. Well, there's lots of food for thought there. And like you said, especially on the extra credit, if we're double dipping with Cheryl's homework or semi saying stitchers or, you know, maybe something that's on our list, we're like, we just can't pick that up again. <laughs> so. True. My backstitches, my 12 days of Christmas has all the words are backstitched so I could get all the words done. Oh, yeah, that would be good. That one does have a lot. I remember yeah. when um, Stephanie was doing it. Mm -hmm. And she talked about how much backstitching it was. Well, that gives us some food for thought. Thanks for your ideas, ladies. I'm going to have to run because it's time to put the kids oh. to bed. Sammy, can you explain dodgeball? Yes, 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 yes. But if you need to go, Lisa, that's cool. We'll catch All up right. with you next. I'll go and I'll catch up with you later. Bye, guys. Bye. Okay, so they haven't fully released everything yet. So I can't tell you how many stitches. I'm going to use fake numbers here. So don't count on my numbers because they're going to change. But last year, for example... Um, okay, you sign up. The signups are going on right now, and they end the 30th of August. So you have to make a decision between now and then. They then divide you into two teams. Either You're either on the red team or the blue team, and you have to put their little logo up as your main picture for the duration of dodgeball so they know what team you're on. Um, and then, so you start stitching, and you do before and after pictures. For every 200 stitches, you get five balls. Again, I may be making these numbers up, but because um, they haven't released, they're going to pick right before they start what the numbers are going to be. So you do 200 stitches, you post your ending photo. Once a day, they will go around and assign you balls. So they will send you little pictures of a dodgeball with your number on, with numbers on them. So like your first five, your first 10, things like that. Then you, you have so long, I think you can only hold on to a ball for two days. Um, you go to somebody on the other team's post and you, uh, you know, paste there and you, now they have to stop the stitching they are doing 
to try and get balls themselves. And they have to stitch 50 stitches to get rid of that, to dodge that ball. And then go back to their regular stitches to get balls. If you do not dodge the balls within 24 hours, you're out. Um, and you can only like at the beginning, you can like, if I, if it's me against you, I can only throw one ball at you a day, but my entire team can all throw one ball at you a day and you could be bombarded with a lot. And then, but then when there's only eight people left, I think, I think it's eight people. Um, then I can throw as many balls at you as I want. And then when it's down to four, I can throw them at anybody, whether it be my teammate or somebody on the other team, until only one person is left standing. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It's one of those things that it's a lot easier to understand once you're in it and you're doing it and you're seeing other people doing it. Um, I found it to be a lot of fun last year. Of course, I also have a lot of time to stitch. So dodging those balls isn't very hard for me. I'm definitely going to get it done in the 24 hours. Um, but somebody that doesn't have a lot of stitching time may find it more difficult. My only issue is if, because it sounds fun. And then I'm like, what if I'm stuck working two nights in a row? Where like, you can stitch at work. Mm -hmm. I most likely cannot stitch at work. Right. And I mean, that's the chance you take. You could always play until somebody attacks you and knocks you out. Um, I mean, somebody's got to lose, right? <laughs> but, um, and then that's just it. Like last year, the first couple days, man, that entire team came after me. And then when they realized that brushing off their, <laughs> their hits was not, was nothing for me. They, they didn't attack me again until after I couldn't actually play anymore. Anyway, um, I had broken my arm and couldn't stitch. So it wasn't until then they even tried attacking me again. So um, you just never can tell. They, I mean, as a team, you strategize who is going to be easy to take out, who is not, who needs to, who can stitch way too much and you need to slow them down a little bit. Like there's a lot of strategizing that goes in. So you need to be part of the Facebook messenger to be able to um, strategize with your team, get any information that the team leaders give. Cause if somebody can stitch a lot, then they can get a lot of balls. Right. Yeah. And I mean, at the beginning, that's not a big deal cause you can only throw one per person. So if I, if there's eight people on the other team and I made 10 balls, well, I can only throw eight of them. Um, but later down the road, somebody that can stitch a lot like that um, could be really deadly, but you cannot like save up all your balls for the very end. So at least there's, I mean, there's that. So. Hey. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take us off of live. Um, thank you for anybody that is watching. Uh, I, I have a feeling most people will be watching tomorrow after they wake up, but we hope this helped. And if you have any questions, please comment and let us know and we will try and answer them as quickly as possible. Y'all have a great day and we will talk to you later.